Hey guys, it's Sarah Joy. Welcome back to my channel. I have some fun updates for you this week of stuff that I've done around the house. First of all, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. Um, you can even hit the notification bell so you don't miss an update whenever I upload a video. But I have two big projects to show you tonight that we've gotten completed around here that have just changed my life. Honestly, I feel way more of a human being. Um, one of them is the backsplash is done in the kitchen, so we are just one step closer for the kitchen to be finished. And I finally finished the dining room table and chairs and everything, um, which was a whole drama if you've been following the past two videos. So all of that's finished and behind me and it's looking really good. And so I can't wait to take you and show you around of what has been completed this week. Also, you're gonna learn a furniture hack that was an accident and I was just trying to make up for it, but now it's my new favorite thing that I know. So let's get into it. <laughs> backyard today and um, I'm gonna take a little video beforehand so you can see what it's like before and how awesome it's gonna look after here we go here's the fence this brick wall honestly doesn't look bad but I just know that it's gonna be brighter once I kind of like clean out that grout and then over here on the patio um, it's not bad at all but I think there are just some spots that will brighten up as well. All right, hopefully you can see a difference. I know I sure can, especially on the wood back here. And then also um, the brick is looking a lot brighter as well. I also just was extra. Well, let me show you what I did. I power washed all of these as well. So if you have these in your yard and they've been sitting out forever, I promise you they're full of fungus. Just go pressure wash them for me. Okay, so I think it would be fun to take you on a little bit of a refresher on what our kitchen looked like when we first moved in so that you can fully appreciate what it's turned out to be now. Also, I realized I did not even give you a sneak peek of what the backsplash tile was going to be. I just told you that it was getting done this week, so it's going to be a full surprise, but I'm really excited to show you. I'm thrilled with how it turned out um, and it's one step closer to the kitchen being finished next as you know is the cabinets but um, yeah I didn't even show you the tile I'll show it to you up close it has a little bit of a beveled edge and they're really long tiles and then we went with kind of like an off-white grout so it just brightens up the whole space all right so there's the tile you can see it just has like a little bit of movement to it they're not like perfect tiles um, which I love it adds a little character and then the off-white grout all right so next up is the dining room which I'm so excited about um, you saw a sneak preview of it last week of how I was completely changing the game with sanding um, and I totally gave up on sanding and I decided to just paint the wood to look like wood <laughs> like to look like a wood stain. Um, let me just explain that there were several things that were involved in making this decision. So you don't just think I gave up on staining beautiful, beautiful wood. The first thing is the stripper that I used, I used it to specification. I mean, I put it on, I applied it thick, I laid saran wrap over it, and even just saran wrapping, brushing it on, saran wrapping everything took forever. Well, then you come to like scrape it off. It didn't all scrape off, so then I would have to do that several times and it still wasn't coming up. So then I went to fine grit sanding to just try to like 
remove the finish. That didn't work, so then I went to rough grit sanding. And then I still couldn't get through all of the details that were on the chairs and the table legs and all this stuff because it had a bunch of beveled edges. It also had some lattice work on the chair. It also had beveled edges all around um, the sides of the uh, table legs and everything. So it was just, it was crazy. So even with like the one and a half chairs that I got completely done with sanding, um, once I got them all the way down, then I was gonna try to use bleach to get the wood light enough for me to stain it the color that I wanted to. Well, on the chair, several different types of wood, I guess, had been used. So some were turning out like red, and then others were turning out like yellow. <laughs> and um, it was just not gonna come out even, sadly. So after all of that, I learned that it was gonna be best for me to take a completely different route. Now, I didn't want just painted furniture. Um, I realized I could have just done like white furniture or whatever and still gotten like an updated look. But I just had this one look in my head. So um, I decided to just go for it. So I found this one tutorial on YouTube um, of this lady who shows you how to like paint stuff to look like wood. And I followed it, but I definitely changed some stuff up. I mean, I didn't go with the products that she used per se, because um, she was going with certain brands of paint and I definitely mixed it up <laughs> as far as those go. Um, but I will show you what I did and how it turned out. And I am thoroughly impressed with it and I'm copy pasting that for all of the other furniture pieces that I'm working on. So here we go, my dining room. <laughs> in here because the, the color scheme is a bit different so I want to take my time and figure out what's going there so that's why I put this over here um, but it's still gonna be nice and cool you'll have to wait and see what's coming um, but I added a few things in here so first of all this mirror above the piano so fun um, I actually found it on the side of the road <laughs> and painted it so thank you um, Chris and Stephanie's neighbors for throwing that away and also added a little details um, a few little details over here above the mantle just to make it a little homier I have an idea for what's going in this niche um, but you're not gonna see it yet <laughs> and then I can't remember if I should do this already but this says how this is going and I'm in the middle of really making this out into a coffee bar um, but I don't have it all configured yet because some of this stuff's gonna get hung, hide the outlets and all that. And um, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But this is gonna be a full, complete coffee station. Now, I have to show you, this is, I didn't really get to the cabinet stuff like I thought I would this week, but here's what has to be done. First of all, you already know, paint needs to happen. But what I don't think I've talked about yet is the noise. So I got hinges to replace these because when I'm putting things away, so loud. So this, it just, I can't take it anymore. So I got these soft close hinges off of Amazon and oh my goodness, I cannot wait for them to go in. Um, 
They come in a bag of like 25. So believe it or not, man, it takes a ton of hinges to replace everything because the big cabinets take three each and the little cabinets take two each. And we have cabinets not only in the kitchen, but in the bathrooms. So it's gonna take a lot of hinges, but after, I mean, I have to take the, um, I have to take the doors down anyway in order to paint them. So I'll just replace the hinges whenever they go back up. The other thing that is gonna happen um, that I will give you a sneak preview of this time, sorry, I forgot last time, um, is none of my cabinets inside the house or the drawers have hardware, have you noticed? Yeah, crazy. So I got these off of Amazon as well, and they're so reasonably priced. Um, if you're interested, just reach out, I will give you the link to them, because they're about a dollar a piece, which is pretty crazy when you're thinking about hardware, because these are usually like, five or six bucks each if you go to the hardware store. Um, and they're nice and heavy too. So they're like a, I would say like a champagne color. They're not too like super gold-y. So I'm gonna stick those on the cabinets. There we go, like get the placement right. Yep, there we go. And on the drawers, you can get a sense for it like that. So those I feel like are gonna look nice and kind of complete the whole thing. Um, I, so far, am gonna do the cabinets not white, but more of a beige. And I kind of laugh at saying the word beige out loud after I was so insistent on getting all of the beige out of my home to begin with. But for the kitchen, I really want something like very, very classic. Um, and I'm kind of just thinking about like, I don't know, like a French vibe, like a French, kitchen I don't know so like natural baskets subway tile some clean gold hardware some pretty like quartz countertops and then just like this pretty I don't know Parisian beige <laughs> I'm making that up it's called balanced beige but hopefully it turns out very Parisian because that's my inspo um, but we'll see how it turns out um, I'm gonna paint a swatch on and make sure that it really goes with the vibe of the kitchen before I paint all the cabinets that color. But that's what I'm thinking as of right now. So if you can imagine it with me, seeing the gold hardware, the countertop and the background, and then having these creamy um, cabinets, I think it's gonna look really nice. And here, let me let you look at it in the lighting so you don't have a odd sense of what it is. It kind of matches the grout. <laughs> so there you go. One thing I've noticed about myself is that I always overestimate what I think I'll be able to get done by the next Tuesday video. And so today, literally at like 5.30, I was like, you know what? I'm probably not gonna finish this entire thing and decorate it by the time that my video should go up. So let me just show you the progress that I've made because I did not finish the china cabinet in my bedroom, but I am in love with how it's turning out. So here you go. So now that I figured out that I like the technique that I used on the dining room set, I'm doing it here. So this is all painted white and I'm about to start painting it with the wood grain and then we will put the water-based stain on it on the last spot. I also have two other chairs that I'm doing the same way right here. So I have this one right here that I just painted, this that I just painted, and then this one that I'm about to paint. Okay, it is now time for me to put uh, the brown chalk paint on the white chalk paint. And this is what I'm using. It is just a plain little um, chalk finish paint that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's brown. It's like a mocha brown. Um, so basically I dipped the brush in and I blotted it out so there's not a lot on the brush. And now I'm just gonna lightly make some strokes on the wood. As I film it with one hand. Okay, just like this, and you can see I've already done the inside of the cabinet, so that's about the look that I'm going for. Um, mostly light, some rough spots, and then we let it dry. So here is the water-based paint, and I'm just putting it on. I will probably do one more coat 
to just get it all the color that I want it to be. But you just spread it on evenly and then through it, you can still see the wood grain. All right, friends, so here is where I stopped. As you can tell, part of it's still rustic shabby chic and the other is coming along swimmingly. You can tell like right in here is where I've done the second coat and then up here is where it's just really, really light. So I am gonna be doing the second coat to kind of just make it really balanced, but I've done the first coat on the inside. Um, and honestly, once it's closed, it looks darker in there anyway. So I might just leave it with the one coat, but we'll see. Um, it does have these lights in the top, I guess to reflect off all your dishware that you would have. Um, but of course I'm not gonna have dishes in here. Um, I haven't been able to get these lights working yet, but hopefully I will um, in the near future. But it's gonna be a cool place to like store some stuff. So obviously I'm thinking books. Um, it has it has two shelves like going all the way across. So it's actually four shelves, but um, they're glass shelves. So I think I'm gonna put a lot of books, but there are also a couple other things that I'm gonna put in here. One of them being my wedding bouquet. Um, because I've had it and I haven't been able to like display it and I also don't want to get like super dusty all the time but it's got these beautiful like proteas and stuff so I want to be able to see it um, so that'll be really cool and then also I got this for free someone was giving it away along with that round kitchen table um, that I have in the kitchen <laughs> and then I got these along with that frame that's in the dining room and they were five dollars each at a community garage sale this is not um, probably what I see long term for the room just because I want like comfy chairs in here um, but it's what we have for right now and for 10 bucks you know I think it's pretty awesome one last thing that I haven't showed you because I didn't have a light bulbs at the time was our bathroom and let me just tell you a little bit about the sconce so I did not replace the sconce that was in our bathroom even though I didn't care for it at all because I actually couldn't find one that was gonna be five across. Um, the only ones that I found that were f like a five light vanity were like the ones that look like, um, like a Broadway dressing room, you know, that are just a bar with like the bulbs um, or just something that looked like super dated and was like bent. I don't know. I couldn't find any ones that were kind of like my vibe. I'll show you an image of what they looked like before. Basically it was dark like wrought iron silver and then it had these big like white bulbs over it all. So I took those off. I painted the um, thing black and then I replaced it with large amber colored Edison bulbs. So now that they're all replaced, let me show you how it looks. All right, here you go. It's nice and vibey in here. I love it. So, super fun. Some of you have asked if I play the piano. I do not play um, at all. I just like to tinker around with it. Peter plays and he's pretty good. Um, and also, our, some of our friends and family play. So I wanted musician bait in our home so that they would come hang out with us. And play because I like music in my home <laughs> but uh, let me just show you what I've played around with that's enough um, that's all I have for you guys this week um, I keep saying this I guess every week but I hope that next week will be the week that you see some progress on the cabinets if not you at least know my intentions my intentions are to start painting them but there are a lot of them and you know <laughs> we'll see um, I do have a deadline in mind and that's my birthday which is in the middle of July so We'll see if I can get them done by then, but that's really my goal. If any of you have it in your heart to come and help me, you know, I'll take you up on it. Um, having said that, <laughs> you will see some progress next week. 
Um, it might be cabinets, it might not be, but I'll be at, back in next week with a check-in for you. And um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. See you later. What a wonderful world.